Underground Tunnel. We're just about to head out through North Woolwich Portal behind us. Um, you can see where we are in terms of construction phase. The track's complete. We've got cable management system trays all around us that will take all the cables. And above us, we've got some of the um, overhead line systems in place where that will be powering the train when the uh, crossbow trains are running as the Elizabeth line. North Woolwich Portal through Thames Tunnel. We're heading up now into the open section near Silvertown Footbridge. And um, so this is all the open section around us. You can see the cable management system, the trays to the side of us, not overhead. And also the overhead line is also, will also be up on the side, whereas in the tunnels it's above you powering the train. So everything's moved to the side as we go through an open section. So obviously um, the whole of the Crossrail project we're really challenged by logistics. So we've got a lot of materials we need to bring in. Everything we do has to take a lot of planning, a lot of sequencing, we have to make sure everything leaves on time and it's very well prepared. Yeah, so this is the Connaught Tunnel, um, it's the existing tunnel which we've just done a little bit of work to reinforce and make sure it can handle our infrastructure we're putting into the system. Um, it looks pretty impressive, it's always really nice when you go through it, but we still have all our standard equipment that we have throughout the trays. So you can see a lot of cable management trays, uh, the start of our overhead scenery is going up on the side here and all our tracks that we've laid um, down on the ground. So you can see we're just coming up to Custom House, which is one of the new stations that's been built above ground. Um, it's a fantastic station, as you can see, and it's really regenerated the whole area or changed the whole area. We've done a lot of upgrades inside and out, and there's a lot of residents and local businesses nearby, so a lot of um, betterment to the area as a result of Custom House station. So as we exit through Custom House, we're just going through and about to exit, the trace, the track's going to drop down as we go through Victoria Dock Portal, and then we go back into the tunnel, and we'll be heading towards Stepney Green. right now that we're on is the route from Abbey Wood. So they all join at Stepney Green Cavern and then they go off into their different directions. Whitechapel station. As you can see behind me there's hoarding and eventually there will be platform screen doors and behind this is the platform. Um, at Whitechapel there's a crossover and we're just about to switch from one track to the other. So right now we've come from the westbound track, we're going to go through the crossing and switch over onto the eastbound to continue our journey. We're just passing now through Liverpool Street Station. You can see in front of me is the hoarding for the platform. But just past uh, Liverpool Street, just up here, it's a different track. It's called Floating Track Slab. 
So the, the track is constructed with additional bearings and a few additional springs, really just to reduce noise and volume. So when the trains pass through, they go uh, really mitigate or minimise any impact to the surrounding areas. So behind me you can see we've just come into Farrington Station. This marks the end of our journey today. I hope you've enjoyed the trip through the central operating system of the Crossrail project and hopefully when you next see this tunnel it'll be on a um, passenger train in December 2018.